Hi, this is Kian Soltani, and today I want to talk about stage fear and how to overcome it. Now, I've gotten this question so many times throughout my life, basically as a performer, as a musician, how do you overcome stage fear? How do you manage to perform at a steady level in front of so many people watching you? And I'm trying to now give you really one concrete exercise or idea that you can think about that will help you actually performing on stage. This is mostly aimed for musicians, but I can imagine that this could help also with other types of performances or anyone who has to do anything in front of other people. I feel the best way to do this is to give you an example I'm going to use an example that I like very, very much. If you know me at all, you know I'm crazy about movies, comic book movies in particular also. So of course I love the Avengers, for example. If you don't know who the Avengers are, shame on you. <laughs> the Avengers is a group of superheroes that come together to build a team and fight the bad guys together. And one of these superheroes is Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner is just a normal guy, except when he gets angry, he turns into the Hulk. I'm sure many people know this character. Even if you haven't seen the Avengers, you definitely know the Hulk. It's the big green monster guy. <laughs> now, why am I talking about the Hulk? There is a point to this. Bruce Banner has a problem. Every time he gets angry, he turns into a big giant green monster, the Hulk, and loses complete control. Now, throughout the movie, his friends, the fellow Avengers, ask him, how do you manage to not turn into the Hulk at any moment? Somehow, he has managed in this movie to not turn into the Hulk if he doesn't want to. He has managed to control his anger. So they ask him, how do you do it? How do you do it? And he never gives a real answer until this climactic scene towards the end of the movie, where he finally reveals his secret. And here it is. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Captain. I'm always angry. Yes. <laughs> I love this scene so much. So, there you have it. He is always angry. And I think that's an incredibly important point. I cannot believe I'm quoting a superhero movie here, but I really think that that's an incredible point for what I'm about to say. How do I manage to overcome that feeling that you have when you go on stage and there's hundreds of people, maybe thousands of people watching you, every move you make, every note you play, every sound. How do I overcome that feeling? I don't. I always have this feeling. Now, when I say always have this feeling, I'm of course exaggerating. I don't always have it. When I'm going grocery shopping or when I'm sleeping or when I'm eating, I'm not having this feeling, of course. But I'm talking about training yourself to know that feeling, which means when you practice, you need to practice that feeling with it. You need to get used to having that feeling of how it is to be on stage. Now, how do you do that? By a quite simple technique of visualization. When I practice cello, and I'm not talking about always, of course, but from time to time, and in the beginning you have to do this quite often, from time to time, you need to use visualization. You close your eyes, or if you have a good imagination, you can keep them open, and you imagine being on stage in that very moment while you're practicing. You imagine 500 people in front of you, a thousand, doesn't matter. If you know where you're gonna play, that's even better. You imagine exactly the concert hall that you are gonna play in a week, in two weeks, in a year, and your adrenaline goes up, your heart starts racing and you get nervous. And now you play the passage and you fail because you weren't ready for it. So do it again, and you play the passage again. Heartbeat, 
you fail again and again and again and you just repeat that until you have the heartbeat you are nervous but you are comfortable because you've gotten used to it now in the beginning you have to do this a lot and you will fail a lot but eventually you will get used to it and now comes the day of the concert and you're going on stage but you've been here before in your imagination you know it it's all so familiar and you've learned to accept that feeling and it's become part of you and you're not afraid anymore you embrace it there's nothing bad about those feelings on stage I don't like to call them nervousness I call them excitement I still have them when I play and I'm pretty sure pretty much everyone has them but for me that's a positive thing it gives me energy just like the Hulk or Bruce Banner has gotten used to the feeling of anger we will get used to the feeling of excitement when you're on stage and I call that the Hulk technique I just came up with it and I hope it makes sense somehow it's difficult to explain but this is really something I have been doing and it has really helped me and I hope that it can help you too and that you can take something from this video let me know about your experiences I'm curious because this is the first time I'm sharing this, I felt like I'd rather share it with you guys. So let me know if it makes any sense to you. I would be very happy to get your feedback. So thanks very much and bye. But because I had practiced it so much before with that feeling and I knew it... <coughs>